This construction site is where the turboprop plane ended up. All six victims were from Rhode Island. They are 51-year-old Jeffrey Jacober, his friend Greg Weingaroff, and Greg's wife Dawn. Also on board, Jeff's wife, Karen Jacober, their 15-year-old son, Eric, and the Weingaroff's 10-year-old son, Leland. The Weingaroff family operated this Cranston-based jewelry business. Jacober was an entrepreneur who headed up the Ocean Group. He was also the plane's pilot, described by friends as an experienced pilot who enjoyed flying. That Jeff Jacober um, um, was a pilot who uh, flew for many, many years and was very as in all aspects of his life, was a very fastidious um, individual and was especially mindful of and was attentive to detail in all aspects of, of flying in his aircraft. Carl Friedman of Pawtucket is a friend to both families. He says the Jacobers often made trips to watch their 21-year-old son play lacrosse games at Penn State University. Both families were active members of Bethel Synagogue in Providence and took part in various charity events. Families, the Weingrops and the Jacobers, um, were um, active in so many aspects of life here in Rhode Island. And it is hard to imagine the landscape here without, without these families who were so um, involved on so many different levels. My son heard about it this afternoon and I said, let's just hope it's a mistake. Helen McDonald lived across the street from the Jacobers for nearly 12 years. She couldn't believe the news. I feel fortunate that I knew her and Eric and, and uh, Jeff. They're just a great family. So I'm thinking of the two oldest right now. Must be so hard for them.